fantastic event possible. Keep up the good work. And that's it. That's a great reminder that we do have a Samus helmet. If you were watching the prize segments earlier, you've seen that and it looks amazing. So make sure to get your donations in now. But right now, I am so happy to say that we're actually ready for our next game. So everyone, I hope you're ready for an amazing runner because it's time to welcome back Kazo with his run of I Wanna Be The Knight in Shining Armor. Take it away. All right, hello everyone, I'm Kazo, um, and you've, well, seen me yesterday playing a different game when I couldn't really talk, but yeah, this time I'll actually be able to commentate. I Wanna Be Knight, I Wanna Be Knight in Shining Armor is an I Wanna Be The Guy fan game made by Matt and Jay in one month. It was made for a One More Short Adventure contest, and it's a blessing because because it was made in one month, it has a lot of glitches we can have used. We're gonna skip every single boss fight, collect items that we are not really supposed to, but yeah, you're gonna see everything in a while. All right, so in three, two, one, and go. Mm, no, of course, I'm kidding. You know, I just need to get out of this house and make the first save because, well, I'm gonna abuse a specific um, mechanic that whenever you restart the game and then load the save, Depending on which save, uh, in which locations you have saved last time, you're gonna end up in a completely different location. So yeah, let me just progress through the game. As you can, um, you can, s as you can probably notice, I'm not really double jumping yet, and that's because you can't double jump right off the bat, right in the beginning of the game, because you need to collect an item that will let you do that. So well, we're gonna get to it, but first things first, we need to get uh, a sword that will let us cut down the vines and get to the place where the wings are and wings will enable us to double jump for the rest of the game. So this is, well, I believe the first and, well, not necessarily the last, but one of the not too many platforming sections with spikes that you're gonna see. So we're just gonna open this chest right here, get the river, river flow sword, equip it right away and there we go. We can cut down the vines so we're safe with that and keep going. Uh, so, uh, this game is quite different from many other I Wanna Be The Guy fan games, as in, you know, we have a melee attack, we don't really shoot, we have HP, so we can afford getting hit maybe a few times by enemies and by many other threats. So we're gonna abuse that, because every time you get hit by something, you have quite a few iframes you can use, so I'm just gonna get hit by this guy, go here, 6 HP is enough to get me through the next place, next location here, because I just need to... Can I get through this guy who only deals 4 damage to us? Oh, there we go, that's even better. Save here. Do this one gate jump. Just like that. There we go. And now I've used iframes to get through the spike. Because spikes deal 99 damage and that's how we skip the first boss fight. Grab the wings. There we go. Alright, I'm just gonna use this machine right here. And you know what? Yeah, that was kind of slow. Let's just start over. Why not? Let's just go with the new game. Uh, and I'm gonna press R to load the save. There we go. And we keep our state between new games. Uh, so I'm still uh, smaller so I can get through this hole in the wall right here. I keep my wings, I keep my melee weapons so I can get to this house way earlier in the game. I'm not supposed to be here. So let me just open this chest as well. Grab the down thrust golds. Uh, which gave us uh, down thrust attack. So yeah, that was kind of slow. Let me reset the game yet again. Yeah, let's go. Let's start a new game. All right, so I'm gonna load the save here. The game is gonna wrong warp me here, and I can go to the left side because you know now that we have the double jump, we can go above this high wall here. And well, we don't really need the down thrust attack yet. It's just faster to grab it early on. We're gonna need it to break these like down thrust sword blocks that you've seen a while ago, and maybe to skip a few enemies if I really need to. But well, it's not really required right now. Let me just hit this guy. All right in order to, you know, to feel a little bit safer. So right now I'm gonna progress. You can already see what kind of blocks we have in here. We have these like bomb-like blocks. And the only way we can break them is to, of course, use bombs, but we don't have any yet. So I'll be just progressing through this forest right here to grab some. All right, let's use this machine right here. Reset the cycle by saving and loading quickly. And I'll have to wait, unfortunately, one cycle of this guy who just spits on us every once in a while. There we go, that's fine. And go to the platform right here. Avoid everything we can because well every time you get damaged you have you are knocked back a little bit so I have to be very careful so even if it lowers your HP and doesn't doesn't really kill you right away 
because you get knocked back, it, it can sometimes kill you later on because you're gonna fall into a spike or something. Okay, gate jump. There we go. First try. Awesome. That's actually amazing. The most difficult jumps in the history of fan games. Okay, there we go. Jump on the bubbles, and now I need to wait for this guy to spit on me. I want to be standing like this because you know knock back. So yeah, please, please RNG. There we go, and that's kind of nice. That was rather fast. This is like one of the first RNG points in the game because you need to wait for this guy to spit on you. And then when he deals damage, you are knocked back and you can skip through these spikes that deal 99 damage. So yeah, uh, now I'm gonna use a skip over here. So let me just jump underneath this guy, jump up here and grab this spider web right away. There we go. That's way faster because we skipped the entire screen and then use the machine, save and grab the bombs. So the bombs are kind of weird because, well, you're supposed to set them and then wait for them to blow up. But if you swing your sword right before setting down the bomb, it blows up right away. So you can just use something like this and then, you know, save a lot of time. I think there's only one place where you want the bomb to, you know, where you want to wait for the bomb to blow up because you need to time something. But yeah, everywhere in here, we don't really need to wait for that. So let me just get through as fast as I can on these bubbles right here, jump onto this platform. Now use the machine, save low to reset the cycle, jump on the spider web, and then try to skip the screen yet again because I need to make a jump over here. Hold down here, re-jump, and there we go. That was nice. All right, blow this up as fast as I can because the bubble will then have a perfect cycle. There we go, and wait for the next one. Really nice, skip this guy by just jumping onto him. There we go, easy, wait for this guy to jump, go on. And all right, we're gonna see our first boss fight, but don't worry, we skipped this one as well, because, well, this boss is a crystal that we need to get. So yeah, uh, instead of killing him, we will just, you know, get inside, grab the crystal. There we go. And uh, uh, that was kind of slow. Let me reset the game. All right, so yeah, uh, new game. Of course, I'm gonna load the save. Wrong warp is gonna get me into the forest and go right here. So now we're gonna use our down thrust attack to get into this location, the underground tunnel which we need to cross through to get the remaining, um, to get the other crystal, well, not the remaining two, but, uh, well, to progress through the game further. Let's we'll just avoid these spikes right here. Watch out for these guys. But I have a way to jump around here, not to really mess this up too much. There we go. Save low to reset cycle, because this guy can sometimes shoot a little bit earlier, depending on when do you enter this room and mess you up. So... I will just reset over there, then jump on all these blocks, because then the spike cycles align perfectly. Save here, and then there's gonna be like one a little bit more difficult part. I just can't over jump one place that we're gonna see in a while. Because there are rats in here, in this like small tunnel here, so what I need to do is just get inside. I do a small jump, turn around in order for knockback to push me back in the direction I wanted to. Get through, save load, and there we go. Alright. So now I need to go as fast as possible in order to get the good cycle out of all the fish in this area. So with these ones, just jump in between here. There we go, break this bubble. And then jump over here. And hopefully I'll be behind these guys. Yeah, there we go, that's perfect. Yeah, so these guys, the second set of fish just goes above, just goes above you and you can progress smoothly. Save here. And all right, and if you will, if you can notice, uh, if you can take a look at that, there's a wall right here uh, on this screen to the right that is like shining a bit. You can see like small stars in here. If you break this wall, there's a secret chest in there that gives you HP. I'm not gonna pick it up right now. I decided to pick up another one. You don't really need to complete the game with 15 HP because it's gonna give you 5 additional HP. But I'm gonna take additional 5 just to, you know, feel more consistent during the boss fight that I can choke on otherwise. But because of that, I'm gonna show you the locations of two secret chests. The one is over there, and the second one I will show you in just a while. Alright, so I'm just breaking these blocks right here, progressing through this area, jumping in above these guys. Alright, use the machine, save, and grab the one and only Castlevania axe. And it lets us break these blocks with the axe icon. Oh, I wait, I switched. Alright, there we go, break these. Break these and just use this, um, well, whatever object right here to get to the other side. I, I really don't want to mess this jump up. Oh, okay. Well, there is a save here, so it's not really a problem. You don't lose too much time when you do that. All right, let's break this again. Break this again. Because the only problem with uh, choking this jump is that uh, then the bubbles... Can I get out of here? Okay, because it is that the bubbles 
respawn, you need to break them again, but well, we have the axe, so I can just do that. There we go. So we don't really lose too much time. There we go. There is a way faster pickup I can do, so I'm gonna skip this wall, just continue through. And well, there is supposed to be a boss fight here, but well, I guess the boss is already dead. We're not gonna talk to this guy because, well, it's a waste of time, so. There we go. We're just gonna grab the rewards and run away. So we're gonna end up in this location right here that you've already seen, the Adventure Hills. So let me do one. I mean, let me take one simple detour here. Just grab the chest right here, grab the initial 5 HP. Why not? That's gonna help and get back to the save. You know, I couldn't do this previously because I didn't have the double jump just yet. So we'll just continue like this. Break these vines just in case I will mess up the gate jump or whatever. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna continue through all this. If you have anything to what you wanna say, then that's a good, very good time to do that. Oh, of course. I've got plenty of donations I'd love to share with everyone. We have $25 from Mod Lishka, who says, All hail to the mighty GDQ crew. Love the event, love speedruns, nothing but love from Poland. Hard. And we have $250 from Willie Olio, who says, Always impressed with the bravery and philanthropy of all the people who work at MSF. Here's a donation to help make the world a better place, one speedrun at a time. Alright, so here yet again, I'm gonna switch to bombs real quick and just blow this up. You know, of course, skipping the weight. Careful not to break this block. There we go, do the same thing here. Just use the bombs twice and then grab the last crystal, which is surprisingly without a boss fight by default. Uh, we just have to, you know, acquire it by entering this house. Not talking to this guy because you know that would be a waste of time. So let's just acquire the crystal. There we go. The junk crystal because you know there's three elements. There's junk, forest, and wait, I forgot the other one. Water was it? All right, pull this lever. This lever is very important. Uh, actually, no, it disables the laser below. But well, if you're playing this game casually, uh, it will let you get back here if you really want to. Because when I played this game for the first time, it took me like, I believe at least two hours. I don't really know. So, you know, shortening it, shortening it to like 15 minutes because of all the glitches I'm abusing is really, really satisfying. Okay, so here using these crystals, we get to the realm of lost knights. Let me switch to this weapon here. And then just go in one straight line like this. Break all the blocks on my way. Try not to stop because then the cycles align perfectly. Just like that. There we go, switch to bombs right here. Reset the cycle, and well, that's another scroll section, so if you have anything more, then go ahead. We have plenty more. I have $100 from Zaninel, who says, Gotta give the runner some props. I really appreciate his good humor on the... Mm, <laughs> much love. And we have $25 from Puriel, who says... $5% directions unclear. Successful run of $25%. <laughs> well, congratulations. You're the first one I've seen in that category, so I think that means you have world record. And we have $20 from Trainer Anand, who says, for the bonus game, because who doesn't want more GDQ? Okay, and here I had to reset the game once again after grabbing the running shoes, because normally I would use them to, you know, go back through the level, but there's a faster way. You can just start a new game, load the save, uh, wrong warp, and then, you know, you're right in front of the castle. So when I enter the castle, I'm gonna use several different movements, several weird moves in order to get through it as fast as possible. For example, balance with this guy, work with that other guy to shoot, and then go up. So I have to be very careful with everything I do here. Here, as fast as possible, if I could, just jump below this. There we go, that's actually perfect. Uh, break these blocks right here, then go as fast as possible here as well, switch to the bombs, use this, and then wait for the rocket to shoot right here. Grab the sword right away. I'm really impressed I got this first try, but there we go. Grab the big uh, four king sword. There we go, very nice. It deals 30 damage as opposed to like two damage when we're stringed uh, and like four when we are not, I guess. I don't really remember, but yeah, it's crazy. This damage is so much higher and that's precisely what we need to progress further. I forgot to kill this guy. Oh, Alright, that's fine. As long as I don't mess this up like this, that should be fine. But yeah, okay, there we go, there we go. Kill this guy because it's gonna be annoying. Switch to bombs real quick. Switch to the axis yet again. And then throw the axe here, here to kill this guy, but I missed again. But okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let me just jump over here. 
And there we go. That's fine. All right. And then... If I could kill this guy like this, there we go. Because sometimes he teleports behind you to, throughout the screen, between, in between the screens, and can get kind of obnoxious. It's kind of rare, but if it happens, then he might sometimes knock you back where you don't want to be. All right, avoid all these, bait this guy out. There we go, nice. These blocks you can only break if you use the running shoes. Keep in mind, I'm, oh, I'm holding C all the time right now because that's what activates the running shoes. And so, since we have them, they allow us to abuse so many places in here. Okay, save here, bounce on this guy. Switch like this, there we go, perfect. Jump above all these spiky balls or whatever's. Mine something. Okay, bait this guy out. This guy, jump below the, thir the third one. And I'm very, very close to the boss fight right now. Okay, so this boss has two phases. First one is very simple, although doing it properly can be kind of tricky. There is a faster way than one about what am I about to show you, but it's uh, very inconsistent. You can use bombs to deal more damage, but I'm gonna use axes to just deal some damage in the beginning and bounce on top of her head. And that's gonna be a very quick first phase if I do everything properly. But there's a lot of RNG involved, that was actually quite good. There's a lot of RNG involved because all these, well, bowls that you see in here are RNG, so we need to use one of them to jump on top of her head, so that's one phase done. And the second one you have to enter inside and hit her heart several times. Um, I'm gonna kind of wait because I really don't want to choke here. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, six damage, that's fine. That's why I took additional HP. Uh, can I please not get too many? Okay, get ready for time, because I, as long as I don't choke, that's gonna be it when her HP reaches zero. Uh, so that is time, there we go. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> finally I managed to get this first try and not really choke in the middle. But yeah, that's even better, that's even better. And that's it, you know, this game is supposed to take you so much more time if you're playing it casually. Like, as I said, at least two hours in my case. But yeah, if you do all that, if you skip everything you see on the screen, for example, this section that we're in right here, you're supposed to use this machine on the left. But, well, if you know how to save more properly, if you know where you end, when, when, where you will end up, then that's so much faster. Alright, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for, um, you know, enjoying racing pitch as well. And that's it for me. Thank you so much. Wow, that was such a fast-paced run. I'm not sure which one I'd be more out of breath on after mming for like 15 minutes straight or trying to keep up with all that action. Either way though, thank you again, Kazo. That was a fantastic run, so I hope you all enjoyed as well. And wow, we have been getting some donations. It seems like quite a few of you have been taking up this speedrunning challenge. I'm getting a lot of comments with no donations, so I'm gonna try to do a speedrun of my own and see how many I can get through. So I have, let's see, $5 from Endymion, $5 from Anonymous. What else do we have? A lot of people are upping the donation amounts for this speed run, so it's getting competitive. We have $25 from Anonymous. We have $50 from Mr. Zebub. We have $50 from Tihan. We have $50 from Shiveris. I apologize if I got that name wrong. And we have $50 from Mezron. So thank you everyone for your donations. They are making such a difference. It really is great to have them coming in. Of course, I wonder if people are donating $50 because we do have a prize open right now. I think it's gonna, it's either has just been on your screen or it's about to. It's that Samus helmet that you may have seen in the background of our prize segment. It is stunningly beautiful. It is a $50 minimum donation, so would encourage you to give that a look if you haven't already. While we're here, I'd also like to shout out one of our sponsors, Super Meat Boy Forever. Super Meat Boy Forever is finally out. And the producers say that they literally created over 5,000 levels for this game. It's too many levels? They should have done like 2,500? <laughs> you can find out more about the game and all those levels at www.supermeatboy.com.
All right, we're coming up on a break, but don't go anywhere. We have so many amazing speed runs. Uh, keep in mind, we're gonna have some wizard action later, which is a maze-filled fast-paced action roguelike. We're gonna have Pompo, which is a game about ducks blowing things up in space. Yeah, you don't wanna miss these runs. So please stick around and we'll see you again soon. Welcome back, everyone. See, I told you we wouldn't be gone for long. 